Well, we've been trying to get it so we can test ride this thing, so I can tear it down, polish it, and redo it. That's why I like to do things. Build the whole bike, ride it, make sure everything works, and then take it apart, polish, powder coat, whatever else you have to do. We would have had this been, you know, the weather hasn't cooperated, and you know, it's also, well, the incident. Um, we would have test ridden it by now, but a bit of rain, so we'll wait a little bit, we'll take it for a ride. I don't think the heavy stuff's coming down for a while yet, though. Well, due to the inclement weather, it wasn't a really good ride. I mean, it's the first time I've ridden a nine-head Sportster, well, since the incident. I like to do everything myself. As some of you might know, I, I do my own electroplating, copper and then nickel. And I was like, see, now, out of the degrees up, this is all very scientific. A lot of chemistry and stuff. You know, shit, we got the power supply down there, we got to run 0.65 amps for every square inch. Close enough. This connects to there. We'll put it in there. You see, it's all about, see now it's it's already copper. So we'll keep that in there. These solutions, they're, they're very poisonous, very dangerous, and it, you've got to have that right balance to make sure everything's going to work. So I always like to... Copper solution's perfect. Once it's plated with copper, then it goes into the, the nickel bath. See, comes nice shiny nickel like that. The nickel solution, it's more a green one, um, this one's really critical to get it to work, and so we'll test that one. Nick, nickel's much better. 